6 a.m. And you know what that means? Doisu Tep day. So I'm on my Doisu Tep run and I've actually, <laughs> rather than reducing the weight of stuff I've got, I'm bringing everything with me. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Look, in here, I've got my bag with my laptop, cameras, all the stuff I need for doing work. And in here, I've got bananas in a box and other stuff. I'm putting the weight, I'm, I'm making it heavier. Because I'm already so fat, it doesn't really matter, does it? I just, it's cool. And I'm cruising up the hill and it's going really well. So I'm up uh, Doisu Tep stage one and it's as beautiful as it always is. But this time I'm camping. Look, I've got my, all my breakfast. I've got my laptop and my desk, which is the back of my bike. And I'm gonna do a bit of work and I'm gonna do the other half of, of Doisu Tep. I realized the problem was I'm not taking a big enough break at the halfway point. So I thought, why don't I just do, catch up on some work, edit some videos? <laughs> it seems like a good idea. And then I'll head up there. Oh, I'm really filling up after that last leg. It wasn't even that far, but wow, that was, uh, my legs are burning. Uh, the joys of being unfit. Don't let it happen to your people. <laughs> and if it already has, you've got to turn it around. Yeah, Dorsey Tep's the place to be. I think someone asked me somewhere, uh, why am I going up Dorsey Tep again? What happened to wait till I lose weight? Well, I looked into it more and more, and what I discovered was really it's about the heartbeat. So it doesn't matter what you do, climb a wall, walk the stairs, swim. At my weight, you want to keep your heartbeat low, like below 130, above 120, and just suck that fat out. Just burn that fat up. That's what that's doing. And I realised that it was it feels more mentally challenging on Doisu Tep. So therefore it feels more interesting. I was getting a bit bored. Not bored, but just like not so inspired doing the 50 Ks, which is also two hours, unless I went fast. It's like the road's flat. Why am I poodling along? It just felt a bit boring. Well, when you come up here, you're poodling along and that's that's the correct the correct relationship with this hill. It felt, just feels better. So I'm on here and I'm going up. I don't even know how far it is. I don't even care, bothered. Do I look bothered? I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna go to the top, or well, to the temple, see what happens up there. And it's really nice, they provide these little rest places all the way up. Oh, it's so good. This one's not, it's, you know, it's not the viewpoint, but look, it's still kind of nice. Just chilling out here, some kind of observatory in the heart of nature, relaxing. I should bring a hammock. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring a bloody hammock. If I can find one, I'll hammock up this place and come and chill here for a bit. Nice it up. Why do people go up in coaches? It's like the most redundant, horrible holiday ever. It's so horrible. I'm going to go and sit in the box for half, for probably two hours. I'm going to sit in the box and go up a beautiful hill and look at it like it's a TV. It'd be so funny to make a coach where the windows are actually TV screens. Anyway, I was going to do a freestyle. Don't even know why. Oh, stretch your body after you move. Don't get stuck in that fat coach groove. You're here to explore all these sensations. You want to live your life like it's a celebration. There's no need to ride around in boxes on wheels when you can get on your bike and build legs of steel. There's nothing that can stop you reaching the top. Even if you have a break and three or four times you flop, but every time you get back up, you pick yourself up and you climb to the top. This is what you do every day of your life. 
Strive to be the greatest version of you. Be the high. Because I love every moment. Ups and downs. I love it when I'm serious or if I'm acting a clown. But I know one thing that's true today. I'm going to ride my bike and every day I'm going to play. Good luck. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> These are the people I met earlier. Where's the old fella? Look at his cool bike. He's got a BMG. That's the old guy from earlier. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Champion! <laughs> Sorry, Cup. You're very good. <laughs> He's good. I'm making a video. Can you be in it? Okay. So, why do you like cycling so much? I, I'm not good with the owner. No, this, this man is good with the owner. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So this this man here, you cycle a lot. I'm so impressed by you. So how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Say what he said before. He's camera shy. <laughs> before on the camera, he said he was 70, 77. Uh -oh. He's fitter than me. He's so good. I'm so so impressed. Uh, ma, ma, ma. This is the this is the team. This is the team. Because he is very small. That's why he is really. Oh, okay, that's your excuse. Yeah, <laughs> he weigh he's three I weigh three times him. That's right. Three times, isn't it? What about you? But he's strong. I'm a heavy. 130. You know me? No, how much? Can, you try? Can I guess? Yeah. 60. Uh, no. Again, <laughs> please. 61. No, I can't be more than that. Okay, 90. A little bit. 95. Hello. 93. Fat, fat, fat. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Come He's on. fat shaming us. Come on, come on, okay. I think you're 94. I'm an it. 92. 92. Okay. So we fat. Good job. <laughs> And, and you, how old are you? How old is he? Huh? Wow, you're so impressive. Okay, see you at the mountain. Okay, bye bye. 80. Wow, you're so fit for 80. I'll see you at the temple. I'm going to get on my bike too. <laughs> see that? Fat shaming in Thailand. Are any fucks given? <laughs> So here's something new I haven't seen before. This waterfall. Another good hangout place. Here's my friend. And just made a new friend here. Coming down the hill. Rec recognised me from my Tour de France uh, 2011, wasn't it? 2011 uh, second place. <laughs> Tour de cake shop. And uh, I hear this is the hardest part, so I'm about to climb up the hardest part of Doi Sutep and I'm pretty excited about it so let's do this. So I'm on the last bit, Doi Sutep in the bag and it's as steep as they said. Heart rate's gone up to 160, cadence has dropped to 56 but we're still moving forward and that's what counts. Yes, this is like a reward at the end of all that hard work and you get this. Oh. It comes to you up the top. I made it. Yes. Well done. Those who tap the first time. Yes. Yeah. First time. Five and thirty. Thank you. Yeah, Awesome. How do you feel, Joe? My neck feels good. I've been trying to do it for six months. I probably could have done it in a month if I had a focus, but I'm up here. Yeah, really well. 